What's up guys, welcome to Daily Refinement. It is moving day, I need a haircut, there's a lot going on. Um, this is the new warehouse space we're unloading. You can see behind me we have pallet racks that went up. Um, I'm only gonna go two pallets high. I had that second row up there for stability, but I'm not really gonna put anything up there. Um, forklift is up and going, I love it so much. This one is the four wheel one. So it doesn't turn as nice as the three door or the three wheel one, but I love it. Um, everything is gonna be sorted here. I now know a whole bunch of different delivery drivers, which is fantastic because uh, I'm getting more and more suppliers that are locally. So it's really nice having different size box trucks. This one, I think is an 18 foot truck. A 26 foot truck is waiting outside to deliver more stuff after. It's a lot of stuff to move. It's probably six semi trucks full of stuff that I have. This is supplies, inventory, equipment, that's coming in. Our rolling racks are over here. Um, this is our giant roll-up door back here. I'm actually gonna have semi-trucks pull all the way in here when I unload. And I don't have a loading dock at this location, which is the one thing I really wanted on a warehouse. So everything but a, um, a loading dock. In our new space, we have plenty of room, so I actually don't need to move inventory more than once. It can get moved to where it needs to go. Just stay there until it's sold. Um, Everything now, shipping supplies wise, I'm ordering by the pallet. So boxes, poly mailers, shipping labels. It saved me a lot of money going to straight pallets. Um, sorting wise, it's kind of interesting because I never really had enough room to sort. Now there is more room to sort. This is stuff that came in today that we're sorting for a show later today. Um, so really important when you are moving to try to be back in business as soon as possible. Number one, most important part of reselling is shipping. So we'll go over to the shipping department over here. Um, shipping department is going, shippers on both sides. We have things ready to go. And like I mentioned, the part I was really the most excited about for this transition was these, these OTRs. So the post office, um, brings us these big metal bins now, and now we don't need to make pallets. And I'll show you what the old system was, which is back here. Um, the old system was the post office brought us these plastic Gaylords, these boxes, we would fill it up. Um, tomorrow is the last day we're using these. It takes a little bit of time to transition over, but we're already starting to use the new post office bins. They like it. It's actually saving me like five to $10,000 a month with that because I don't need to build pallets. I don't need to stock anything. They bring them and then drop them off and then they take them to the post office. So I'm pretty excited. They gave me all these extra ones because of my volume. So just in case we have a really busy day, we have enough. It's kind of crazy how much space these take up. And every single one of these things is a thousand pounds empty. So they're like extremely heavy. Working on the break room situation here, but I think that's important to just get started. This is not the... Um, I'll show you a before picture right here. We'll put one up here of what this looked like before there was stuff in it. But you can watch the previous videos. I did a couple of walkthroughs of this place. And this is kind of cool. There are actually no lights on in here. Um, this is just natural light from these skylights that are built in. And the lighting is actually pretty decent in here. So when we stream, I think the lighting is going to be pretty cool. We have pallets coming in, things sorted. And I really, really enjoy having the space to do couple of different things. Brand new product is gonna be stored a little bit differently than pre-owned product or returns. So we have different places for different things. Um, I'm gonna be organizing everything in the center. So today is day one of moving. So everything came into here. The first thing that we set up is the shipping. Um, made sure that we can ship things on time first and then everything into the center and then we'll build everything out. And streaming is not as important as taking care of previous customers. We've done a couple of test streams in here. There's a lot to work on. There's internet, connectivity, sound. The sound in here actually is pretty decent. It's not as echoey as when I did the walkthrough before because there's so much stuff in here now. Um, and surprisingly, when we did the test streams, the people on the other side weren't hearing as much of the extra sound as I thought, um, but we're working on that. There's lots of offices here that I'm not sure what I'm gonna use for. I personally, am not going to use an office. I, I think it might be nice for me to have one if I need to go in there and do something quiet, but I would rather oversee the operation here. And I was running like three or four different warehouses, so much easier to just operate out of one. This is like not too far from where I live. It is in a really bad area, but there's really good security here. There's constant business people in this area, not a ton of homeless encampments, and basically zero walking traffic. There's nobody here walking around. So 
that makes me feel a little bit better. Um, security wise also, I have a new PO box, a new um, return address because I don't want people to know where we are um, just because it's the safety of the people here since we're working 24 hours a day. The camera system here is gonna be really cool. We're gonna install cameras pretty much everywhere. I will be able to, I think, based on my previous experience in the other warehouses, I'll be able to operate the business from home actually. Uh, I don't have to come in because if I can just see what the inventory looks like, I can design the shows and um, when I'm here, I just wanna make sure we're working on process and making sure things flow smoothly. Um, I have a very specific profit margin that I'm looking for for items. So I'm not like a greedy person. If I meet that, um, we're not going to continue to work because I, I don't need to work so efficiently that we're working every single minute of every single day. I don't want a business that's that strapped. So I want everything to be smooth moving in here. I'm having multiple staff meetings to make sure we're all on the same page. Everyone here has been working with each other for a while. I am, I'm not really hiring right now. If there's a superstar that wants to apply to work here, you can do that. I'll probably take your application. My email is chris at dailyrefinement.com. Shoot me an email, resume, where you live, your relevant work experience. I'm mainly looking for people that have had quick serve restaurant experience before. That's so important. Anything where you're customer facing really helps with live streaming. Also, I have enough space for a live event. So I'm gonna be launching a new mastermind tier where we do um, some coaching. And I think that I'm actually gonna invite everybody to come here for free. I think it'll be a really cool space. I'm not going to be using this space in the center here at all. So essentially I could set up chairs, tables here, and then I could present some type of topic for everybody here. I'm not, not gonna put anything here. I wanna do all the deliveries here and keep this space completely open. And I'm hoping that if I can do this right, my warehouse will always be half empty or more. That would be super awesome. So like this space empty, that space empty, and I'm trying to get these clear pathways. This is looking a little bit weird, but I'm getting a lot of logistics experience working here. Like I, I you know, reselling, sure, but then also now this logistics stuff with trucking um, and then staffing different drivers, different licenses. The previous driver was telling me that these pallets are too heavy and they were kind of bottoming out Get pulling into here. And again, that's probably, that, that, that's why I wanted the loading dock so that I could not have to deal with that. I think that's it. I think that's it for day one. We're moving in, in probably a week or two, it'll be a little bit more organized, but I'm happy with where it's at right now. And until next time guys, make progress daily.